This video is a small video to help students understand a little bit about using Teams to show their work and to complete their assignments. When you log into Teams, the first sheet that you should see are the different teams or classes that you are in. This is a test student, they're in a whole range of faintly silly classes. If you look at the calendar, that should show when you have Teams meetings. And if you look at assignments, that should show any assignments that you have. But you need to choose the subject, in your case, that you need to open them for. So I'm choosing year 10. And they've got some overdue assignments. And they've also not completed anything so far. In order to complete the work, you should look at it, go to where it asks you to go to. In this case, it's a questionnaire. You could add some work that you've done and then you can turn it in. If you're on time, it doesn't say turn in late, but turning it in is the important thing. And then you get a nice pretty little reward for handing something in. Looking at the team 10B, you can see there's been some posts where I've given assignments for them to work. You can click on files and you'll see where I have uploaded work for them. Now these are read only, so you can't change them as a student, but you can access them and I can organise them in folders that make it easier for you. So if I give you an assignment and say, look at the file that's here, this is the place to go and find it. Inside the folder, again, you can't change these, but you can download them. And you can edit them when you've saved them to your area. The class notebook takes a bit of time to load. You need to be patient. You may or may not have a welcome message there. When you click on the arrow, you'll be able to see the welcome, the information that I've put on the front page, the collaboration space, and how to use it. And you can use the collaboration space as directed by your teacher. The content library, where I can put work, general help for you. And any work here, guidance that I can give you. I've also provided a work plan for some students. This is your exercise book. It's got sections in it, but you can add more sections as directed by your teacher. So, for example, if you were asked to add a section on data representation, the thing to do is to click on a section here, and you can either go down to the plus there, or you can right click and go new section. You could put in the title that you have been asked to enter. The pages here will have no headings until you tell them to have headings. So this could be on units of storage. Once you've typed that in and press enter, you can put the information that you want in the Word document. You can change the size of the data that you're working on. 
So you could put in a heading. You can format things in very similar ways to what you've been doing before. Importantly, you don't need to save your work. You can go back. You can then go, I need to add another page here. You will have added a page. This page could be And when you go back, everything that you wrote on units of storage is still there. Looking at a different notebook for a different class, in the content library there are some worksheets which I want copied in to the students. The student has only come up with three of them so far, and there are six. To copy them in the content library, Right click, give it some time. Sometimes it's a bit slow. Left click, copy, go down to where you want them putting, right click, paste. Repeat that one, go to the section which is storing the work, left click on the one that you want to copy. To select it, then right click and copy. Down where you want it to be, right click, paste. You can then work in that workbook simply on that page by clicking on it and filling the work in as directed. And when you've finished, you can go back and look at something else, knowing that your work has been saved without you having to press the Save button. If you click on the Grades button, you can see the work that's been set to you. Summarised, it's a very simple one. You can see what you've turned in. You can see what you haven't turned in. It links back to your assignments. If we clicked on that and turned it in, hopefully having added some work, and then went back to grades, you would see it's been turned in. When you've finished on Teams, you can sign out and then it will close the software for you. You can download this onto your phone, so if you're having difficulty joining in a meeting, you can do this through your phone and speak that way. hope you found this useful. If you need any more particular help with Teams, please send me an email and I'll try and sort it out for you. Thank you very much.